Okay, well, once again, Jason, thanks for having me on. And uh, unfortunately, there's a never-ending amount of information to talk about every week, and certainly this week is no exception. Let's start out with some of the um, some of the data from um, the state and the county from uh, as recent as yesterday, the 14th. Um, positive tests in the uh, state have been 11,275 with uh, just under 2,000 hospitalizations and 434 deaths. That hospitalization number is 1,939. Um, uh, positive tests here in Kenosha um, have been 762 and um, we've had you know, 17 deaths. And just to give some perspective of how serious this is, you know, first of all, let me say that Wisconsin um, is in a better place than our Midwestern neighbors um, in terms of positive cases and also deaths. We are we have been doing better. Um, but that said, um, South Korea and Wisconsin, let's make a comparison. Um, South Korea, if you remember, had their first positive case on the same day that the United States had their first positive case. Um, and um, South Korea, well, Wisconsin is about one-tenth of the population of South Korea, but unfortunately, um, we have more cases than South Korea. Um, and for another perspective, and of course some of these numbers might uh, be subject to um, lack of, you know, Positive, lack of accurate counting, but uh, we know that we have about three quarters of the population um, of the world, um, and yet we have about one third of the total cases. So uh, people need to remember that this is a very, very serious um, disease that we are that we are having, and very, very contagious. Of course, let me talk just a little bit about the, the Supreme Court uh, decision this week, and uh, I'm really disappointed that the Supreme Court ruled that the way that they did. Now, I'm not um, surprised that they ruled um, against the governor and the uh, DHS secretary designee um, in their ruling. But I am really uh, shocked and disappointed in their uh, ruling that did not allow for the state to have a period of time, as even the Republicans had um, suggested should be the case um, once, once they ruled and essentially opened um, things up with no new protocols, no new um, rules. And uh, I think that that is just so extremely, extremely disappointing and also irresponsible. Now, um, that, as the governor um, suggested that it would, has kind of opened the state up to a lot of um, questions and um, confusion, um, anarchy, the word anarchy comes to mind. So um, so after the Supreme Court ruling, um, um, several businesses opened up for a period of hours before the Kenosha County Health Department closed them down again at midnight. So the bars were open for a period of five or six hours. Um, and uh, then the, um, the Health Department, as I said, on um, extended the uh, stay-at-home order, and then now just last night, and then, um, that has been over, that has been reversed. The, the county has um, reversed their decision. The county is the one who um, has, they um, run the health department, and the health department is the one um, driving that decision, but it's based upon a legal um, consideration that were, was put forward by the Wisconsin County Association. So, um, so we were off, and then we were on, um, and then we were off, um, then we were on. And it's, I'm not sure exactly how many times uh, um, it's been in the last 48 hours. It's certainly been kind of a whirlwind. Um, I would just like to uh, um, remind everybody that. You know, my office is always open to people who are having problems with unemployment or who are having problems with any of the other state agencies and they need to get a hold of uh, somebody to kind of help navigate through all that. I encourage you to call my office and that telephone number is 608-266-0455. And I'd also like to um, ask close or um, if I think of something 
else, I guess I'll add it. But I'd like to remind people that you know we know that this is a very tough time, um, and really encourage you if you're having a hard trouble, hard time um, mentally or emotionally, you know, don't hesitate to call the hotline, and that's one eight hundred nine eight five five nine nine zero. One eight hundred nine eight five five nine nine zero, and I. I'd just like to say that um, even even though the Supreme Court has ruled, and that was a very narrow decision, uh, four to three, and ironically, somebody who uh, just lost an election and will not be on the Supreme Court probably after this ruling um, really made the deciding vote, and I think that it's just so it was so irresponsible and so unfortunate. But that said, um, you know, elections have consequences, and um, and so we are left, we are left with that decision. But despite the Supreme Court ruling, I'd like to remind everybody to you know to keep doing what you've been doing. Wash your hands. Uh, wear a mask whenever you're in public. Um, social distance. Social distancing is very important, um, whether it's mandated or whether it's not mandated. And just remember that you're still safer at home. So um, I'm sure that we'll have something to talk about again next week, Jason. And once again, I'd like to thank you for the opportunity to. I'll share a few minutes with your with your listeners.